guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Omega Ruby walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we managed to get ourselves our Septilite, I can't say they haven't pronounced that correctly. We got our starter Mega Evolution Stone. And now, we're going to be going straight to the gym because we got stuff to do right here. We need to win another badge because, you know, we're in quarantine. We can't be staying indoors all the time, and you guys already know. I like the gym. I really do. So before we do anything, let's see. Who? Oh, never mind. We don't even know who's, whose place this is. Okay, so I'm going to get another flag right here. And there we go. Team, I can't pronounce that, but if you guys rec like if you recognize your, your, your secret base right here, just comment down below. Uh, congratulations, you were featured onto my video right here. Now, also in our last episode, we managed to uh, get the, the secret scope or... Uh, the invisible scope thingy from uh, Steven Stone. And now we can see what's invisible and in our way along the way because you guys already know we can't go to the Fortree City gym unless we get the, the scope lens or something. Yeah, that's what it was called. Yeah, it just it, it just pops up in my head, uh, you know, right there and then. So before we go into the gym right here, we're going to be going straight to the Pokemon Center because we're going to be taking on a flying type gym. I kind of want to bring in uh, some Pokemon for this uh, occasion right here. You know, some uh, old Pokemon that we've had in the past. You know, like, uh, I don't know, old team members, that kind of stuff. So let's go to straight to box six, and or box seven, I should say. And let's see, we got Swamp Lord, which will do per, uh, perfect, uh, or which will do well in the whatchamacallit, four tree gym, but I don't want to use him just yet. Let's go straight for, let's see, we got Latios, and we got Raphael right here, which could, you know what, Raphael could do well, but you know what, we're going to be going with uh, a good old buddy Vesuvius right here. He needs a little loving, so we're going to be replacing uh, Desert Storm right there, and the next thing you know, let's see, let's go into the other box right here. Now we do have... Ah, look at that. We got Magneto right here from Pokemon Liquid Crystal. So we're going to replace him. Or we're going to replace the egg with him. And then our good old buddy Claymore is in this uh, in this thing. So we're going to be replacing our good old buddy uh, Sage of the Halo for just a little bit. Because, eh, you know, we'll be fine. We'll be fine without our starter Pokemon. You know, do you guys trust me? I think you should. Okay, so first is first. I th oh, yeah, Gaia did battle in the last episode. So we're going to be doing this. We're going to be healing up our Pokemon. Of course, we could go into the Pokemon Center and heal, but I choose not to because time is of the essence for all of us right here. Anywho, guys, uh, yeah, day some odd, uh, some 145, I guess, of the quarantine. Yes, I am still quarantined. I am still not essential and all that stuff, even though... The governor here in the state that I live in, which is California. Hold on just a sec. Look at this. There's an invisible obstacle in your way. Would you like to use the Devon Scope? That's what it was called. My bad. Let's you, let's do yes. And of course, you're probably going to be seeing another Pokemon right here. And bam! Look at that. Kecleon became invisible or visible to the naked eye and it fled. So yeah, we're not going to be battling that guy. Mm -mm. No sir, Rebob. Okay, so before we go into the Fortree Gym... There is a little item right here you can get, and yes, you get yourself the TM-86 Grass Knot, which is weight based on the damage and all that stuff, so yeah, keep that in mind. Anywho, the state that I live in is California. Yep, the governor's saying he's going off of three, four phases, and I'm not liking it, not one bit, because I'm, I'm in my house every single day doing videos and all that stuff, even though you guys are enjoying the videos. I'm not enjoying staying at home, so... Hey, Governor Newsome, if you can, if you, if your kids watch this, or if you watch this, I know you're a secret Pokemon fan. Come on, man, open up my state. I need to work. Anywho, let's talk to this guy right here. Yo, how's it going, champ to be? Forgery gym leader Winona is a master of flying Pokemon. She's waiting in the back of uh, this gym behind the rotating doors. She's waiting for new challengers who are trying to take wing. Okay, go for it. Let's do this. Alrighty, so she's pretty much kept the same the same puzzles right here. Now I would hate to fall in the the pit right there. You can see all clouds and crud, so it's like uh uh not going to fall right there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be switching up my Pokemon. Let's go ahead and start off with Vesuvius right here. And let's go ahead and take on whoever's here. Behold the elegant battle style of bird Pokemon. Alrighty. Bring it. 
Here we go. Bird Keeper Jared, not later, wants the battle, and he's coming with this Swellow right here. Look at this guy. Okay, I could have used a Swellow on my team, but, eh, you know, I kind of didn't. Alrighty, and uh, Passerby Rose gave me a nice, so if you're Passerby Rose and you're the one that gave me a nice, uh, you've been featured on my video right here. Also giving out shoutouts and all that stuff. Now, as I'm recording this video right here, it is what? May 14th, 2020. Don't know when I'm going to come out with this video right here. But, I've been reading on most of the comments that I've uh, been getting on the, on this channel, guys. Yes, I've been staying attentive to the, the, the stuff that you guys have been saying and all that stuff. And I'm actually happy that, you know, this is getting you through the tough time which is the quarantine and all that stuff. Some of you guys are still going to school. Some of you guys are either freshmen, sophomore, juniors, maybe even seniors. And, you know, you guys have an extended vacation, which, you know, now you guys are probably starting to figure out that, yeah, it's kind of good that we get two months off of school and then go back because the social anxiety is just something right there. But like I was trying to say, I'm glad that this is cheering you guys up on your, on, on your day. You know, I, I aims to please and all that stuff. And a lot of you guys have been making really, really great comments on, like, you know, th these videos deserve a little bit more views and all that stuff. Maybe, but, you know, how I think, it's like this. Uh, I really don't go for the views. I don't go for the subscribers and all that stuff, guys. I just do this as a hobby, a way of, you know, letting my, uh, let myself just, you know, uh, like, you know, breathe this just a little. It's a hobby, pretty much like a hobby. Uh, I have plenty of hobbies going outside, working out, boxing, football, uh, YouTubing and all that stuff. And this is just a way of just like, you know, making, just, you know, getting my mind off of things. And honestly, don't really, I don't really care about how many subs, how many subs, uh, how many views I get on a video. As long as, you know, it's coming out there, I'm getting a little bit of recognition from some of you guys. And that's great, you know, that's fine and dandy for me. So, again, thank you guys for all the great comments. I really, uh... I, I really appreciate it and all that stuff. You guys know who you are. I can't remember the name of your channels and all that stuff. And as you can see right here, we defeated Kylie, not Jenner. Thank you, not from the Kardashians, because god dang the Kardashians. Can't believe they're still around terrorizing the, the earth and all that stuff. So let's move this up forward right here, and we're going to be going straight down. I think we, we're going to be battling like three more trainers. Now, this is a way to slide down and everything, but we need to go straight right here, and we get trapped, so we're going to go straight up, and you know what? Let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon right here. So now that Vesuvius has gotten a little bit of turns, let's go with Claymore right here, and see what good old boy right here does. There's no need for Winona, our gym leader, to do... Oh, wait, 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 wow. Again, uh, you guys already know, Draven's a little illiterate. There's no need for Winona, our gym leader, to deal with you. I'm pretty good enough for you. Okay, well, this guy's kind of reminded me of uh, the the camper back at Brog's gym, you know, light speed and all that crud. <laughs> he doesn't know what he's talking about. All right, so here we go with Claymore. Look at that, he's looking awesome right here. Now, many of you guys are wondering, this isn't the Claymore that I caught right here in Pokemon uh, Omega Ruby. You guys are right. I actually did capture him in Pokemon uh, Alpha Zapphire. Uh, and I captured him with a special move. I used the Dex Nav to actually find this guy. And it actually has Dragon Rush, which is a very good move. And uh, it's a better move than most, most moves that you, you usually see right here. Now, Claymore's done. Let's go with our good old buddy, Magneto. It has Nito in the name, so that's how you know he's a badass right there. Look at that, Magneto. Now he can evolve right here. And, well, let's go right ahead and use Electro Ball for the win. Oh, yeah, Kamehameha Electricity Style. That's how you do it right there. Suck it, Pelipper. Yeah, buddy. Look at that. And, hello, level 37. Of course, I captured this Magneto. Uh, what was it? Yeah, I captured him in Alpha Zephyr as well. And let's see, it was at level 32, I think. Yeah, it was level 32 in Alpha Zephyr. And I wanted to capture him with a special move, but I couldn't find a, a Magnemite with a special move at all. So I just captured the highest level one. I actually, I think I chain captured this guy. So yeah, it was a little difficult to try and find. The lovers of bird Pokemon aspire to join this gym. 
As a member of, of the Four Tree Gym, I am not allowed to lose. Is that so? Here we go. Birdkeeper Wheel. Would like to battle, and he's coming out with his Dodrio. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Okay, so he's got three heads instead of one. But I got myself my Claymore right here. And Claymore, let's do this, Dragon Rush. And, okay. Yeah, completely forgot that this guy's a little faster than me. So, yeah. Okay, so there we go. And he avoided them. Oh, God. He avoided it. Okay, so let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's go with Iron Head. Iron Head. And the opposing does that. Oh, crud. There you go. And here we go again. Oh, wow, we got paralyzed. What the hell? Oh, balls. Okay, so that's what happens when we're slower. So let's try it again. Iron Head. Coming with the pluck and oh, crud. He might, he might get one of my, my stuff right here. Okay. There we go. Iron head. Doesn't do it. You done You done messed up right there. Eight, eight run. And there we go with the plug attack. Crud baskets. Nothing. Ah, crud. Okay, so here we go with the rock slide. Does it for the win. You know, we could have just started with that, but you know, my ego got a little too big because I got these Pokemon on my team, you know. That's right, just like the championship rings that I have in my hand. It's a little heavy right now. And Bam! Will has been defeated. I do like the hairstyle, though. I really do. Anywho, let's move on right here. Now, I think we need to move this. Actually, we can't move that. So, we're going to have to go around this area twice. So, let's go up here. And before we battle this guy right here, let's go right ahead and heal our Pokemon. Because it's always nice to heal Pokemon right here. There we go. Claymore's got one. Vesuvius has got another one. And let's go right ahead and take this guy on how did he see me from looking from the side as a bird pokemon user i solemnly swear to battle fair and square that kind of rhymed that is awesome so here we go another pokemon trainer bird keeper bran would like to battle and he's coming with his pelipper right here let's go come on bring it just bring it and well let's go right ahead and use let's see let's see let's see Okay, try and use Dragon Rush. See if this actually works, but... Ah, uh, really? Ah, uh, crab baskets. Okay. So, nothing. No Dragon Rush. He's not, they're not going to let me use Dragon Rush right away. So, let's go with uh, Rock Slide. And there comes that payback attack. Ah, uh, snap. Okay, so there you go. And here we go with another... Bam! Rock Slide. Nearly beats this Pelipper. Okay, let's go with Takedown. I think this guy has Rockhead, so it might not work, and god dang it! Ah, uh, you suck. You suck. Okay, so Lexi, Lexi, Lexi. You protected yourself, you a-hole Pokemon. Let's go with a Takedown again, and wow, Roost? Ah, uh, come on. Don't be... Come on, don't be messed up. Okay, so here we go, Takedown attack. And that nearly takes out Pelipper, but you know what? Let's go with the Rock Slide. Come on! Okay. This looks like a loop right here. This kind of feels like a loop. Okay, come on. Rock Slide. Come on, finish him off. For the win. And doesn't take him out, but it was a critical hit. So let's go ahead with, with the Rock Slide. Come on, and god dang it, man. Come on, stop healing yourself. You're taking up all my video. Oh, God. Okay. All right, so here we go. Rock Slide for the win. Finish him. Ah, oh, crud. He's getting weaker, so let's go Dragon Rush. Okay, and he's going to come out with a Pokey... Pokey, uh, Pokey, uh, let's see, let's see. Pokey, uh, a protect or anything. Here we go. Dragon Rush. Bam. And that's how you do it, guys. It only took me five more tries and all that stuff. <laughs> all righty. Okay, and look at that, look at that. Look at that. We're growing levels crazy. Crazy stuff right there. Alrighty. And, well, that is pretty much it right there. So, let's see. Let's move on right here. Okay, so we... Wait, did we already battle this guy? I think we did. Okay, so we battled this guy. Now we gotta move this thing around just to get over here. Look at that. And, bam. All right, waiting for us is our girlfriend. Okay, so... Yeah, nobody needs some healing items right here. Let's go ahead and start off with our good old buddy, Magneto. And 
Let's go right here. Okay, Magneto. Because he's got Nito in the middle of his name right there. Look at that. She's taking in the wind right here. Looking all majestic. I love her hair. She's looking like a true beaut. Mm, 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 mm. I am Winona. I am the leader of the Fort Tree Pokemon Gym. Somebody just texted me. <laughs> I have become one with bird Pokemon and have soared the skies. So did Skyla. She says the same thing. However, grueling the battle, we will triumph with grace. Oh, damn. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. She looks lovely as always. Witness the elegant choreography of my bird Pokemon and me. Oh, damn. Bam! She hits that pose. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay, so here we go. Gym battle number six against Winona, the other girlfriend. She's looking lovely, too. Mm. Okay, so here she comes out with a Swellow. Swellow, as many of you guys already know, not that tough. Unless you let it be. And here we go, a Magneto. Okay, so let's go. Get this. Volt Switch for the win. And, of course, there comes a double team. Now, when you're battling Winona, she will try and use a lot of double team. Aerial Ace is part of her moveset as well. So just make sure to be more, you know, just try not to get all frustrated with the evasiveness and stuff. Because it comes with the territory right there. So, here we go. Magneto's coming back to me, and he just gained a, 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 he just, wow, level 38, just like that, look at that, oh damn, okay, and, uh, well, because of Volt Switch, he's coming back to me, I'm gonna come out with Vesuvius, just in case, uh, homegirl here comes out with Skyla, or Sky, uh, or Skarmory, and no, oh, she's coming out with a Pelipper, crud, okay, so, yeah, this might be a problem, but, no worries, here we go, Rock Slide, and here she comes with a, uh, Rud. Wait, how in the... Okay, so that was super effective, I just lost HP like that. Okay, here we go, Rock Slide, finish him, or her, and we might faint on the next turn right here, so let's just go right ahead, Rock Slide. Do not care, oh, she's using the Hyper Potion. Alrighty, she's, she's being strategic, magic. okay, so let's go, Rock Slide right here. And nearly takes him out. God dang it. Okay, so. Okay, here it is. Rock slide for the win. That's right. The camel with two titties on the top of its back wins this match. Oh, yes. Okay, alrighty. The experience points are coming. Gaia grows to level 38. Hydra, level 47. And it wants to learn uh, Dragon Dance. So let's see what it can actually learn. Okay, so it's got Crunch. Ice Fang, Surf, Dragon Tail. You know what? I'm not even gonna change anything because uh, it does have a it does have a good move set. It's only gonna get better, so I'm just gonna keep the old moves right there. Okay, and Claymore grows to level 35, and it's learning Iron Tail. Of course, it's powerful. It's a little bit more powerful than Iron Head, but it's less accurate. So I'm just gonna not teach him that. And well, let's see. Altaria is coming out. Alright, you forced my hand into this. Let's go with Raiden, because we do have Raiden on the team. I just completely forgot about that. Alright, Raiden, do your business. Do what you should have done in Pokemon Emerald. And here comes Altaria, looking all beastly. Now, if you guys remember, I do have my own Altaria. I called it uh, Fluff Blade. And I will eventually battle the Pokemon League with all my Blade Pokemon. The Blade Pokemon, you know, the Bird Pokemon. I got Sky Blade, uh... Fluff Blade, who else? Sky Blade, Fluff Blade, uh, fucking, who else? Completely forgot. You guys are like yelling at me right now. I can feel it. Something Blade. You guys already know what Pokemon I'm talking about. But look at that. Alteria has been defeated. Oh, yeah, we're flexing. We are flexing, and whoa, hello, level 41. Look at that. See how easy it is to just win Pokemon battles right here, guys, or just gain experience points? And here she's going to be coming out with a Skarmory, so let's go back to our good old buddy, Vesuvius. The good old Pokemon right here. Alrighty, okay, let's do this. Okay, Skarmory, bring it on. Let's get this Lava Plume. For the win. Oh yeah, love this move, I really do. And uh, takes him out. Out for the count. Say goodbye to the fatality. Look at that. And look at that. Our girlfriend's not too angry. Never before have I seen a trainer command Pokemon with more grace than I. 
And look at that, we get a lot, of, a little bit of money. That's good. Always good to have money. And I recognize your talent and present you with this gym badge. Bam! Look at that, guys. Our sixth badge. We're looking pretty good right now. Not bad. And let's see, the feather badge. Uh, let's see, with the feather badge, all Pokemon up to level 70, even those received through trades, will obey your Pokemon with, or will obey you, your every command. Uh, you will also be able to use this HM uh, or the HM fly outside of battle, which we probably don't need in this game. And this, this is a gift from me. TM19 Roost, we already know what it does, it heals your Pokemon. There is just one little drawback to that thing. Roost! With this move, this the user can restore its HP by up to half the max of HP by landing on the ground and resting its injured body. However, the user loses its flying type designation during the turn, so be cautious. Could have used a ground type move right there. Uh, you won't. You won't against me. I know you'll keep aiming higher and higher. Someday, you may even fly up to the sky. That's the impression I get from you. I might. I might. So, I bid you adieu, my love. I will see you next time. And let's go back down because, yes, we're fe feeling a little more heavy because we got more badges. We got six badges, guys. Yes. Okay, so... That was the end of that episode. It's a pretty good episode. No glitches, no nothing, no lagging and all that stuff because I picked the perfect spot for my recording. Apparently, uh, the internet's a little stronger in my living room, so... Yeah. Okay, so, anywho, guys. That was it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. In the next episode, we're going to be taking a nice trip to the... Let's see, whatever route this is. i got to start looking. Okay, so we're going to be going to the next route, which would be... Let's see. Route 120 all the way to Route 121. I think it's going to be like three episodes, probably. Two or three episodes. Who knows? Don't quote me on that. And we will be going straight to Lily Cove. And then after that, it will enable us to actually go straight to the ocean, to the final cities right here. So it's going to be a, a fun episode next uh, next one. I will be bringing in some Pokemon, some other Pokemon, mainly for the cut technique and all that stuff. But we will be having fun in the next episode. So th thank you guys again for watching this episode. I'll see you guys next time.